he picked up symptoms after the game. Um, so he's in the concussion protocol. And then Dallas Flowers, uh, he got an Achilles, um, which is a tough deal. So he'll be out for the year. Um, and that's the injury report. And then regards to Jonathan Taylor, um, he'll be back with the team. He's practicing Wednesday. He'll be out there with us. Uh, had great conversations with him. He's super excited to be back uh, with his teammates and looking forward to having him. We'll start with Steven. Yeah, hey, Shane. Um, on that note, um, just from what you know of of how he's doing physically and what you've seen of his rehab, how's he look? And and what is your level of optimism that he can help your team if you kind of get him going? Yeah, no, he's he's in good shape conditioning-wise. Obviously, you know, putting on the pads and practicing is a different deal. Um, I, mean, I know it's been a long time since he's played football. Um, so we'll see, you know, how practice goes this week, see where he's at. Uh, physically from, uh, you know, putting the pads on, and we'll go from there. James? Saying, what, what's been the contact level you've had with JT just throughout this process, and how do you see him reintegrated to the team? Like, do you expect him to play next week, or is it like a, a long term? Yeah, we'll see. Like I said, we'll see how practice goes. Um, the conversations I've had with him have been great, you know, through this whole deal. Um, I'll keep those private, but, you know, he's in a good spot. Obviously, I, I had a conversation with him. The other day, talked to him today, um, but he's excited to get back with his teammates. Joel, Jane, what about Jelani Woods? Where's Where's he? He's still on IR right now. Still on IR. Kevin, Jane, what will you need to see from JT in practice to clear him for a game, and will that be a mutual decision between? Yeah. I yeah, that's a good question, Kevin. I think, you know, obviously just seeing how practice goes, you know, feeling him too is, you know, where he's at, you know, from a football standpoint. Obviously the conditioning, he's been working his tail off with the rehab process. Uh, he's feeling good. Um, so we'll have those conversations throughout the week and then we'll make that decision. Is it something to where you obviously rotate at that position? Is that something where you would be comfortable just rotating him in or would you want to wait till more of his normal workload? Yeah, again, I'll, we'll have those conversations, see where he's at, if he feels good, and then we'll rotate him in if he's ready to go, for sure. Nate? Uh, yeah, Shane, just kind of looking back at yesterday, just how do you feel like uh, Anthony just kind of handled the deficit, just first situation for him kind of leading a team back uh, the way he did? So how do you think he handled that? Yeah, that's a good question. And I, I thought he had great poise, you know, to be down 23, you know, nothing um, for a young player to lead his team back and score 23 unanswered there. You know, we didn't start getting going until middle, you know, middle of the third quarter. Um, just the resilience he showed, the poise he showed, uh, you know, to lead an almost great comeback uh, was awesome to see from a young player. You know, really excited with his performance in the second half. It was awesome. Greg? Shane, I, I think you may have just answered this, but I, I want to make sure I, I got you. You said we'll rotate him in if he's ready to go for sure. Does that mean there's a chance he plays someday? There could be, yeah. 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 You've not really – you've well, you've not not really – you've not had him on the field yet. What do you see with Jonathan Taylor when, when you did your, you know, your offseason just evaluations of players? Yeah, I mean, he's a big-time player. He's explosive. Uh, you know, he can hit the home runs. You know, when he sees the hole, that explosive breakaway speed, uh, great vision, power. Obviously, one of the top backs in this league, uh, without a doubt. So, excited to get him back with his teammates uh, on Wednesday on the field. Raven? And I'm sure you don't want to get too deep into this, but with Dallas Flowers out for the rest of the season, does that mean that Jalen Jones is going to get opportunity to see some time or maybe look at some free agents on the market? What do you think the course of action is going to be? Yeah, I mean, we got good guys in this in this building. Um, obviously, Jalen Jones and Bake um, are good players. So we'll, we'll have those conversations, myself, Gus, and Milo, uh, and Mitchell, and we'll work through those this week. And kind of adding on to that, just how important is it to have guys in that secondary like Kenny who've been veterans who can help kind of deal with these quick change situations and help coach up on the field, whoever it is who takes Dallas's spot? Yeah, no, it's huge to have a guy like Kenny in that room, veteran leader, uh, makes a ton of plays, you know, leads that room uh, to have those guys to talk through, you know, different things. Obviously, coaches are coaching them, but to have a veteran player like that to give his little insight on certain things definitely helps that room. James. 
Oh, sorry. Shane, how do you envision potentially pairing JT with Zach Moss, just having their different styles? Obviously, JT's sort of a home run hitter, and then Zach Moss is the is the in-between the tackles, churner type of guy. Yeah, no, it's great to have both, you know, different backs with different styles. Uh, you know, you can switch it up, you know, throughout the games with both of those guys in there. Um, so, obviously, we'll have those conversations. Myself, Jim Bob, and DeAndre, our running back coach, um, and see where it all goes. But, again, super excited to have JT back. And then how do you think his presence could help alleviate some of the pressure, not pressure in a, in a negative sense, but just some of the workload on Anthony Richardson? Yeah, no, it definitely helps. Obviously, you you know, add a guy back like JT and then, you know, Zach and Anthony, you know, you got three guys that are really good runners. Um, and then there can be some, you know, times where you have breather plays where Anthony's not always running zone read or something. You just hand the ball off, you know, to 28 and, and Zach and, 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 and go play ball. Two more, Kevin. And I know with Zach, I know it's not the same injury, but with Zach, you know, a few weeks ago, you guys waited um, a week to bring him back. What is different about JT's situation, given how much time he's missed that he could, I guess, play on Sunday? Yeah, again, I think it's really more the football shape. Obviously, there's a difference from, you know, running, you know, sprints and going through that deal. But to put on the pads, um, and, you know, and go play with his teammates, put a helmet back on and go do all those things again. Um, well, again, we'll have those conversations myself and him uh, and see where he's at at the end of the week to make that decision. Last one, Stephen. Hey Shane, um, on, on Anthony, I think yesterday was maybe like the best example of uh, his awareness and pocket presence. Um, what do you see when you watch the tape? And is that something you can't teach? Yeah, there, there's a there's a natural feel back there playing quarterback, without a doubt. Um, you know, you can coach some of these things, but some of the stuff he does on the field, you can't coach. Um, a lot of instincts come into play, and he has great instincts. Um, and it showed up, obviously, on Sunday. It showed up, you know, the first couple of games he's played. Uh, but he made he made some big-time, big-time plays in that game. I mean, one of the ones – one of the biggest ones I saw and was there, obviously. But the throw he made to Alec Pierce – down the sidelines when Aaron Donald was coming in and he flicked that thing just with his arm. He didn't have any, you know, body below him. And he threw through that thing, I don't know, 35, 40 yards on a rope, uh, which was incredible. And then I know we talked about it after the game, the two point play that he made to Zach, you know, buying time there was huge. He made another one to Drew scrambling out of the pocket. Um, he just continues to make plays, you know, to help this football team win.